Hello, hope you are doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a church flyer using Canva. The first thing you want to do once on Canva, you are going to tap on the search bar and you are going to type in church flyers. After doing that, you will be redirected to the templates page. From here, you can scroll down until you see a template of your liking. Keep in mind that the templates that has the crown are says paid. You would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create one from scratch. So you're going to tap on create blank. After you have tapped on create blank, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And you can see a blank canvas right here. Right where you see page one, I want you to pull on the slider to the right to increase the size of the canvas as you can see right there. Then you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select uploads. After selecting uploads, you'll tap on upload media and from there you can upload the images that you would like to add to your flyer. For example sake, let's say we would like to add a background image and keep in mind that you can also just change the background color if you want by tapping on the canvas, then tapping on the color box and from here you could choose a background color as you can see right here. So you could choose any one of those colors. But for this example, I'll be adding a background image. So I'm going to tap on elements from the left hand menu option. Then from here, I'm going to tap on search elements. Then for example, let's say I would like to add a background with a mountain. Then I could select photos. After selecting photos, I can scroll down until I see a nice looking one. For example, this one right here. Then you'll simply drag and place it. Then I can double tap on the background image to shift it into position if I want. So for example, I'm going to set it like this so you can see the glare from the sun. Once you have added your background image, you're going to tap on the transparency icon right beside the lock and you're going to pull the slider to the left to slightly fade the background image so it isn't overpowering the regular images. After you have done that, we are now going to add the images of the persons that will be taking part in the church event. So for example sake, you can tap on uploads and you could upload the individual or individual's images. Then you will tap on elements from the top left hand corner. And from here, I want you to tap on the search bar and you're going to type in circle grid. So you'll type in circle grid. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down and right where you see frames, you're going to tap right there. So after tapping on this, all you'll need to do now, you could tap on the circle frame right here. And depending on the amount of performers, you can add more than one circle. So let's say, for example, we have three performers. So I'll select three circles, as you can see right here. So you can see here, we're going to be adding three circles. So we'll simply decrease the size. After you have done that, you can pull it down right here. Then after doing that, all you'll need to do now is simply drag and place the images of the performers. So for example, let's say I were to go over to elements once more. Then from here, I'm going to simply type in pastor. So I'll do that real quick. After doing that, I can tap right where you see photos. And I'm just going to be using some of these copyright free photos for example sake. So let's say this photo. Then from there I could drag and place this photo also. And then you can double tap on the photo to move it in as you can see right there. Then let me add another photo for example sake. So let's say for example this one. I'll simply drag and place it as you can see right there. So these are our three performers. After doing that, you can go over to the left hand menu option, tap on text, and then from there you can select a text style that you would like to use. As you can see, there are numerous options that you can choose from. Now let's say for example, I'd like to use this one. 
I could simply tap on it. Then from there, you can type in whatever text you want. And another thing that you could also do, I would recommend, for example, you can use this font style and you will be able to type in even more information. So for example, say, if I were to select this font style, then I'll simply pull it to the top right here. Then from here, you can tap on the text. Then you will be able to edit it and you could type in whatever information you want. And if it is a case that you like to delete this section, you can simply tap on it and delete it. And you can see right there. Now also, if it is a case that you are creating a flyer for a group or so on. So let's say we were to tap on add page right here. Another thing that you could also do is by tapping on elements once more. Let's say we were to do something completely different. So we are going to type in pastor background just for example sake. Or we can type in. So let's go over here. Another thing that you could do is you could type in photo grid. So let's go on to photo frame real quick. After doing that, you could tap on see all. Then from here, you have different frame styles that you could choose from depending on how many persons are performing or so on. So for example, you could select this one instead and you could simply drag and place it. So you could place it right here. Then you could expand the size and you could place three images at the bottom. As you can see right there, you have different photo frames that you could use. You could use this one also and you could place multiple groups right there. There are numerous options you can choose from as you can see here. But once you're finished listing out the photos and so on and you have created your flyer like this, you will simply tap on share in the top right hand corner, then tap on download. And from there, you'll select the page. So we would select page one, then tap on done, then tap on download, and you'll now be able to print it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.